oh my gosh, he's my best friend. And it sounds cliche, like, you know, you should be best friends, but it's so true. Yes, we are. Yes. You know what? Um, <laughs> my uncle actually introduced us. It wasn't even our dads. And they've done two movies together. That's together, they're friends. Like, I don't even know. It's crazy. But um, we met through my uncle. And, you know, we became really good friends. We bonded on a lot of things. Obviously, we have similar backgrounds. So we understood each other on a certain level. And over time, it just, you know, became more. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, he's my best friend. And it sounds cliche, like, you know, you should be best friends, but it's so true. Like, we just love each other's company. We laugh together, a lot of laughing, I'm sure you can imagine. And, um, you know, having similar backgrounds definitely helps because there's certain things that I don't have to explain. He just gets it and he, he knows and it's, you know, it's all good. You know what? He trusts my judgment. He trusts that I'm on my own journey. So he was happy for me, honestly, and supportive and super encouraging. Like I called him from the ranch sometimes just like, dad, like I'm tired. This is hard, you know? And he was like, you got this baby, you got this. So yeah, he's been great. Let's see, he definitely did. He told me just to be myself, honestly, cause he knows I put a lot of pressure on myself. I work really, really hard. And he's like, just do your best. Just give it your best and have fun. Cause you know, I can be in my head a little bit and just wanting to do everything right. He's like, have fun, enjoy the experience, be in the moment. And that was honestly great advice, yeah. That's so hard. <laughs> I'm sure Tay could say the same, like, you know, different ones for different reasons or different stages in my life. But I love The Martin Show. I mean, that's just iconic and classic. Like you cannot turn on the TV these days and not see it at some point. So I love The Martin Show. Yeah. the biggest misconception is that, you know, children of celebrities are brats and spoiled, entitled, mean, things like that. And um, I felt that my entire life. And I think growing up, I felt like I had to overcompensate sometimes to show like, no, like, I'm not like that. I'm really kind and whatever. But, you know, I just learned you just have to be yourself and people are going to believe what they want to believe anyway. So, hey, just do you. Yeah, um, so I'm really passionate about mental health and I'm really open about my own struggles with anxiety. And I hope that people can see that, you know, for me, it was not easy. Um, anxiety, I battle every single day. And of course that was even heightened on the ranch, being in this unfamiliar place, doing unfamiliar things. But I want people to see like, I'm an overcomer and I fought through and they can do that too. Like sometimes you have to lean into what's uncomfortable, but so many beautiful things come out of it and you just grow. And, you know, I hope somebody can take that away from it. Yeah, I've actually watched with him and he just cracks up. He thinks, so it's, it's nice to have that like reversal, you know, I'm used to laughing at him and now he's laughing at my show. It's it's surreal, honestly, um, but he loves it. He's proud too, because he's like, look at you, you're getting in there, you're trying. And that just makes me feel good. You know, we're, we're daddy's girl. So it's like, it's just sweet to have that, that moment. So yeah, he loves it.